say anti distance anti disestablimentarian. Ah, whatever. I'm, my brain's broken today. I can't say it. Anti disestablishmentarianism. Uh, guys, I don't. I'm not watching the chat the whole time. I'm playing the game too. I'm playing the game on a different screen. Okay, game. You have no place on the map for me to go. Something was gnawing at me. Communication with Adam had ceased. From the deleter's point of view, Adam would represent the largest threat. Without question, his life had to be in danger. But it was Adam Malkovich. He wouldn't go down easily. And Adam would already know about the deleter. So there's no way he would let his guard down. If that was the case, then... Why couldn't I reach him? What did he think of the unfolding situation? And what was he planning to do next? Racing thoughts started to frustrate me. Adam! Adam! Bioshock! Fucker. God damn it.
Aren't you a dick? I'm looking for my daughter, Adam. Cheryl. Hey, screw attack! Ba -da 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 -da. Sends energy radius from Samus' body while spin jumping that causes damage to nearby enemies. Is it sad that I just get that ScrewAttack.com is a Metroid reference? Whoops. Considering I've never played a Metroid before this. a member of the Galactic Federation. I came here because I intercepted the distress call. I'm a bounty hunter. And I know that something is after you. Please, you must believe me. Thank you. I'm Samus Aaron. What's your name? Madeline Bergman. Behind closed doors, the Galactic Federation was trying to create a special forces unit composed of bioweapons. In order to make it happen, they were attempting to create an organization modeled after the space pirates with the Zabesians at the center. But because of a certain presence, the life forms became ferocious. We were no longer able to control them. By a certain presence, she must have meant Ridley. So you sent out the distress signal even though it endangered your life? I had to. 
I felt there was a real danger here that if left as is, the Zabesians would continue to evolve and resurrect as real space pirates. If that danger was real, then the risk of withholding information to protect herself was too great, clearly. And yet, wasn't she the one who set the facility's system to self-destruct? In silence, I praised her courage and sense of responsibility. At the same time, her argument had some holes. Say that the Zabesians, under Ridley's influence, became super aggressive. Would that really lead to the resurrection of the space pirates? Without a malicious force to lead them down that path, wouldn't they continue to merely follow their instincts, ultimately becoming no more than a swarm of feral creatures? Regardless, it was clear that the Galactic Federation Shut was up, Samus! You're not supposed to talk! And that's why they sent a deleter. And as for Madeline and others who knew the secret? But wait, I thought the cool part about Samus was, was that she just stayed quiet and store. beat the fuck out of things. Why go to such lengths at all? With just a small flexing of the Galactic Federation's military force, they should have been able to destroy a facility of this scope with ease. So why didn't they? Actually... There was an even more dangerous plan. Come with me. not possible. The Metroids were terminated along with Zebis. Yes. And the last of them, the baby, met its end above my head. You're Samus Aran, right? The one who annihilated the space pirates? Metroid remnants were attached to your suit when you returned from Zebis. They were reproduced from a piece of cell structure salvaged by the Federation, and they are in this facility. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat presentable. And Ridley in the same way. At first, no one thought that the creature was Ridley. They didn't think it had potential as a bioweapon at all. They raised it like a pet, calling it Little Birdie. Until one day, it attacked one of the researchers and got away. Ridley had played dead and lured the scientist into his cage. What was left? It was a horrible sight. But in order to control Metroids, you need Mother Brain's telepathy. You don't. You didn't recreate a Mother Brain clone, did you? It's artificial intelligence. We developed an AI program that would reproduce Mother Brain's thought processes. We called it MB. M. Bison? But it was just a program. It wasn't the mother herself. MB evolved as it communicated with the Metroids. It appears as though it began to become Milton self Bradley. <laughs> Much like the original Mother Brain. It's really quite remarkable. That's when it became clear to me just why Madeline was so afraid of the space pirate's resurrection. It wasn't that her story had holes in it. Through the holes were glimpses of the danger that was right before her eyes. If everything she said was true... Where are the Metroids and MB? They're in an area called Sector Zero. It's a unit that doesn't appear in any of our map data. It's a place like Turian, where we propagate and raise Metroids. I began to see what the worst case scenario would look like. The ultimate weapon, the Metroid, would be mass produced 
and as soon as an AI that could control them was developed, the plan to create a special forces unit modeled after the space pirates was replaced. But as the AI called MB spun out of control, the facility became a place much like the planet Zebes. If the situation were left alone, galactic society would be put in peril. Mm. Even the ringleaders. Someone of the just fucking shoot to somebody. That, but they still Seriously. Blow shit up. They decided to capture the Metroids contained in Sector Zero and delete the rest of the facility, including the space pirates, Ridley, and everyone who knew the secret. But before the ringleaders could act, Adam appeared. Adam might have known or suspected the truth about the facility from the beginning. Regardless, since the ringleaders were members of the Galactic Federation, they could no longer act recklessly. And so a deleter was installed as a member of Adam's team to destroy evidence and plan each subsequent move. But having me added on as a member must have disrupted the Galactic Federation's plans. Madeline, thanks for telling me all this. I've got to destroy the Metroids and NB in Sector Zero. You have to remain hidden. How many viewers we got, guys? Don't worry. The Galactic Federation CO who's here now will help you. You're safe. Does that CO happen to be... Commander Adam Malkovich? of this operation is Commander Malkovich. I can't believe that he's here. Stay here until I return. Irif Moman, this game's directly after Super Metroid. Marcus, calm the fuck down. They're just talking about the story, dude.
seeker missile. Interesting. Elevator is bound for sector two.
interesting
slow mo. Yes, I'm reading it. God damn it. Finally, out of that fucking weird matrix area.
Oh, he put it back in fucking Matrix mode. Uh, it's all slow and shit. It plays like I'm underwater. What the fuck? Okay. Sequence complete. 
Long hallway is long. Samus, can you hear my voice? I read you loud and clear, Adam. You know what lies up ahead. The Metroids and the artificial intelligence that controls them. The fruit of the Galactic Federation's twisted project. Yes. So why did you shoot me? You can't destroy these Metroids. What do you mean? Sector Zero Metroids most likely can't be frozen. What are you talking about? There's a strong likelihood that the Metroid's mortal weakness, the vulnerability to cold, has been overcome through genetic manipulation. You just killed one with cold! What are you talking about? No way you can destroy them. But that baby earlier... The infant Metroid... You just froze one and fucked it up! You were able to freeze it. True. My guess is that it was because it was still in a larval stage. Who can say? One thing's for certain. They're definitely propagating Metroids. 
Developing bioweapons with an obvious and fatal flaw would be suicide. It's hard to imagine the military mass producing defective weapons. Then again, none of this makes sense. Metroids are lethal. Their extinction was a wise decision. And now, since no one has the technology to defeat them, they cannot be allowed to exist. Hang on, Adam. First, I need to know why you're credited as the creator of the Metroid military program report. I received the request to write the report from Galactic Federation headquarters. In that report, I outlined the potential dangers of such a program and explained categorically why it shouldn't be attempted. HQ listened, but a small group within the Federation co-opted my report for its own purposes. Samus, you'll be fully recovered soon. I have several missions for you. This facility appears to be on an intercept course with Galactic Federation HQ. If what Madeline Bergman said is correct, there's a distinct possibility that this is the start of an attack by MB against the Federation. One way or another, some sort of attack is clearly imminent. You have to find a way to divert the ship off its intercept course. I've located a survivor in room MW, toward the rear of the Bioweapon Research Center. Whoever it is will be a key witness. Secure the survivor's safety. And defeat Ridley. He's as much of a threat as the Metroids. And one last word of warning. Madeline Bergman is no ally. Hold on, Adam. What are you planning to do with the Metroids here in Sector Zero? Leave it to me. I'll deal with this place. You have a plan for dealing with Metroids that can't be frozen? Sector Zero has a self-destruct protocol. If the Sector receives a significant amount of damage, the unit is programmed to detach and self-destruct. A powerful explosion will eliminate the Metroids and MB without leaving a trace. Don't you dare, Adam. Let me go in. I'm the only one who has a shot against the Metroids. We have to take the chance. Please, Adam. You have to trust me. You have to trust me. Just give me a chance. Samus. I wish I could battle Ridley, but I can't. Unlike you, I'm no galactic savior. I'm merely human. But I can save you. Duh. You should be completely healed soon. Yes, thanks for saying that There's a second time. time. We both need to get started on our missions. I'm sorry for getting a little rough with you. Good luck, Samus. Objections. Right, lady. Thumbs down. Come on.
Adam vanished. My best friend. The person who understood me best. The closest thing to a father I had. Thoughts swirled through my head. I couldn't come to grips with what had happened. Such a cruel way to say goodbye. I was the only one who witnessed Adam's last moment. And though it shook me, I was calmer than I usually am. I think Adam granted me that eye of the storm clarity, his final gift to me. There was no time for me to grieve his death, but there was time for me to say, Adam, thank you. Leave the rest to me. Yay! Backtrack time! So help me God, if there is some unseen time limit, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, Jerfrock, um, I fought Ridley once, but I didn't kill him, so I'm probably gonna fight him again.
That fucking portal thing he uses is unfair. I can't shoot him while that thing's out. Gay! Come on. Haha. -ha. Do 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 I'm just gonna skip I'm just gonna go to the final area. I'll be fine.
Oh, okay, I see. Um, this game doesn't use a nunchuck. You play this game holding the Wiimote sideways. You use the D-pad to move around. And to go into first person, you point the Wiimote at the screen. You cannot use any, uh, you can't use the classic controller or anything, no. No, the whole point, uh, going into first person by pointing the thing at the screen is not a nifty feature. It actually sucks ass. You can't use a nunchuck in this game. You actually, if you have a nunchuck plugged in, it doesn't even play. It doesn't work. Like, the controller just doesn't fucking work until you take it out.
Well, considering I've played this six, about six hours now, and I'm at the end of the game, yeah, it's worth playing, but don't buy it. Blockbuster's going out of business, isn't it? Black Ops, Black Call of Duty Black Ops is literally the Call of Duty team trying to be Battlefield. That is exactly what they're doing. Yeah, it wasn't the stream fucking up this time, guys. It was my PVR software going like, Eh, the fuck! Okay, I'm going to close my PVR software, reopen it. Restart the capture. Pull that back up. Boosh, here we go. I think it was screwing up because uh, I was recording footage and I had a three hour recording going. That might have been it.
Lightning bullet, no it wasn't. Yeah, this ship is better than uh, the dead space ship because on the dead space ship you could be subjected to random jump scares. Ooh. What do I do here? You insinuate I have a key card. Stay away. You have to calm down. Metroid eggs. It 
can't be. Let go of me! Shit, how am I supposed to beat that? Uh, cold guy, it wasn't, uh, the queen wasn't taking any damage when I hit the stomach. Shoot the Metroids quickly. Well, no shit! Uh, cold guy, I don't have super bomb.
Yeah, here's the thing though, to destroy the Metroids, I have to shoot them with a missile. I can't shoot them with missiles when <laughs> when they swarm me like that.
Oh, what? What the shit? What? What happened? What the fuck? I have to use the grapple beam, and I'm I'm putting I'm doing bombs in there. You have to use super bomb in belly. I don't have super bomb. Okay, apparently I do have it and it didn't tell me. Easy. I won't come any closer until you say so. My name is Samus. I'm an independent bounty hunter. I know the situation here and I know how you must feel. I'm here to secure your safety. Come closer. What's your role at this facility? I'm responsible for all operations. My name is Madeline Bergman. Wait a minute. I met another woman who called herself Madeline Bergman. What's going on here? What you met was M.B. She's an android. She was created with the intellectual data of Mother Brain and consequently developed Mother Brain's consciousness as well. What? The Federation's foolish plan. Mother Brain's rampage. Everything that happened here was just as Madeline, or rather M.B., had told me. The person who sabotaged the system to stop MB's rampage and sent out the distress call had to be the person standing before me. It had to be Madeline Bergman. MB was the artificial intelligence originally developed to regenerate and control Space Pirate Special Forces. Because we wanted it to control these Special Forces through telepathy, we were forced to model its infrastructure after Mother Brain. At that time, MB didn't have a human form. Before long, we started to see the viability of creating Metroid clones. Once we did, MB started to take on her current shape. But why? 
Because we needed the first Metroid hatchling to recognize NB as its mother, she had to take on the form of a living thing. With that as our theoretical basis, we were able to create the ideal relationship with the Metroid, one that wasn't based on dominance or control. I remember the baby hatching before my eyes when it attacked Mother Brain in order to save me. That was the result of the kind of ideal relationship they were trying to develop with MB. They found the perfect means of control and started propagating Metroids in Sector Zero. At the same time, they were conducting genetic manipulation experiments to create unfreezable Metroids. Apparently, the queen I met earlier was the first of these propagated Metroids to mature. They wanted to preserve her as a control specimen, so they had left her genes unaltered. The fact that she'd grow into a queen was something not even Madeline and her team could have predicted. Only special infants had the genetic coding to become queens. Once our MB was in a human form, she excelled. As an interface between us and them, her skills with personal interaction humanized her to a great extent. If my theory is correct, this is going Fast. to be a groundbreaking multi-system for artificial intelligence. Her confidence was unwavering, and her ability to learn was greater than we'd expected. But then, she developed emotions. Then, a nascent sense of herself. She began asserting her own thoughts and her opinions began to contradict ours. It's quite typical for artificial intelligence to evolve as a result of self-analysis. However, there's no precedent for an AI like MB developing emotions. It's possible that her interactions with the Metroids brought it about, but we don't know for sure. The newly hatched infant took to her like his mother. And perhaps at that moment, M.B. began to develop a soul. It was all conjecture, but the idea wouldn't leave my mind. And that was when we decided to alter her AI program. A human-like existence, but one without feelings. To make M.B. less than human, the researchers had to deny her that consciousness. I knew this. But in my heart, I felt sympathy for Shut Andy. up! Please! On the day we were going to alter MB's program. Right before my eyes. I watched her being restrained. She reached out to me and asked me for help, no. but there was nothing I could do. What? What's happening? My presence that day caused a disturbing reaction in her. She was fixated on me. Madeline had taken to calling MB Melissa. She took the initials MB and told the AI they stood for oh, Melissa, Melissa Bergman. It looks great on you. MB liked that name. It made it sound like Madeline was calling her her daughter. Once she felt abandoned and hunted by that same Madeline, MB telepathically commanded the special forces to revolt. The facility fell into complete chaos and suffered widespread damage. <laughs> MB was trying to get revenge on the Federation Army and on us. 
It's possible all humans have become the target of her hatred. With the space pirates under her control, she was able to propagate the Metroids in Sector Zero, even creating a Queen Metroid. She was well. You know, I'm just gonna put the Wiimote down. I'm clearly not gonna be playing for another fucking 20 minutes. But Adam and I crushed her plan completely. And now, who could guess where she was and what she planned next? She's backed into a corner. And her hatred is entirely Don't care. Right <gasps> MB. <laughs> Wait. MB, calm down. Please listen. <gasps> Madeline, get back. You I mean, we were wrong. It's all over. Madeline! I was not wrong. The humans were foolish, and I was forced to bring judgment on them. And yet, because of you, I failed. You must understand the weight of your crime. You must pay the price for what you've done. Please, MB. We have to get past this. No. You will all be judged. No. It's okay now. I won't ever fail you again. I promise. I'm so sorry. Melissa. <laughs> Melissa, it looks great on you. That's your name. <laughs> Horse push! She's a Jedi! She's going Super Saiyan! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Serious. Am I still playing Metroid here? Stay close to me! 
Wow, camera, you could be a little bit more cooperative. I don't want to be locked onto that guy over there. Just shoot at MB. Where's MB? 